Welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world, and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracts will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. Greetings to you, my friend. Welcome to the Tract and Truth Tuesday edition for Bible Tract Echoes. Yes, this is Bible Tract Echoes. That's the name of the broadcast, but it's Tuesday. And we give the same title to each and every one of our Tuesday broadcasts. We call them our Tract and Truth Tuesdays. The word tract, obviously, it refers to a gospel tract. That word tract is spelled T-R-A-C-T. It's a short written presentation of God's plan of salvation. And Bible Tract Echoes is the radio arm of a much larger ministry. And for 80 years, over 80 years now, uh, we have been printing gospel tracts in different languages and giving them away all over the world. And we really want to give you some tracts, but we can't do that unless you give us your contact information. We'll talk more about that here in a moment. But it's Tract and Truth Tuesday. So I've got a tract story. Uh, Right now, my Bible is sitting open to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, a great, great passage for those who know that they're called by God to tell the gospel of Jesus Christ. And by the way, who has been called? Every single person who knows Christ as Savior has been called to the ministry of telling others the gospel. Let me lead into our Tract and Truth Tuesday this way. Here's a question for you. Have you ever traveled to a foreign country? Well, if you have, then you went to the bank or someplace and you purchased some foreign currency. With that being known to us, let's uh, pick up a challenge right now. Why don't you go to your kitchen and get a really nice paper towel? Make sure it's really good and clean. Take that to the bank and try to use it to exchange for some foreign currency. Well, how successful do you think you'd be? Well, obviously, they would not make any exchange with you. Do you know why? Well, the answer is rather simple. You can only make an exchange between recognized currencies, currencies that have value. The American dollar has value, has money value. The paper towel does not. Before we get done today, I want to make an explanation to give you an explanation, help you to explain an exchange that's even more unthinkable than the one with the paper towel. It's the exchange that you and I need to be able to explain when we're trying to win somebody to Jesus Christ as Savior. That's our goal today. Get your Bible open to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 if possible. I mentioned those gospel tracts here a moment ago. I've got one of them in my hand. This one's entitled Transformed! Exclamation point. That's the one word title, Transformed. This gospel tract is a testimony tract. It's a testimony of a man named Don Price. Don Price was in jail. He deserved to be there. He um, not only was was committing robbery. He got shot in the process by a police officer. Don Price was not a nice guy. He went to jail because he committed crimes. But in jail, while he was there, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ pierced his soul because somebody was caring for the souls of those around him. Well, in prison, Don Price came to know Christ as Savior, and his life was transformed, thus the title of the track. He was not only transformed to get out of jail, he got out of the hole of sin on his life. Jesus Christ saved his soul, cleansed his soul, and Don Price became a great preacher of the gospel. Here is a gospel tract that'll do two things. Number one, it will challenge every Christian that reads it, particularly men and young men. They need to read this track. It'll challenge them about what they are doing with the gospel of Jesus Christ that they received to be saved, but then it'll make the gospel just flat out clear to anybody who reads it who doesn't know Christ as Savior. 
I want to give you this track. I want to give it to you as part of a sample packet of our gospel tracks. The sample packet contains one each of all of our English gospel tracks. This one is just one of over 40 tracks. Transformed. Great track. Now, you can give to us your name and address, and to do that, my announcer at the end of the program will give you our contact information. He'll give you our phone number, our website, and so on. He'll give you multiple ways by which you can give to us your name and address. Do that, and we'll send you the free sample packet in the next, normally in the next business day's mail. Let you and I become partners in the gospel. Amen? If your Bible's open to the book of Second. Corinthians chapter 5. I look here, verse 17 is a familiar verse. It says this, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. (laughs) That gospel track transformed will certainly make that clear. But it goes on to say in verse 19, to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now we then are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, in Christ's place, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him, Christ, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I began with a story about trying to exchange a clean paper towel for real money at the bank. I do realize that technically you could use a paper towel and write on it, use it as a check, but I'm using it here simply as a clean paper towel. But now, though, let me make the story even more, well, ludicrous. Take that paper towel and use it to clean a dirty skillet first. Then take it to the bank and try to exchange it for money. That's an even more foolish thing to do. If a clean paper towel has no value, then how much less does a dirty one? I'm going to pick up in that illustration and help us, you and I, to use it to explain the gospel exchange that happens when a person receives Christ. First of all, let me tell you a true story about a gospel tract. A number of years ago in the country of Myanmar, the son of a chief was converted by reading a single gospel tract. He was given the track, but he couldn't read it. He'd never learned how to read, but he knew the piece of paper was important. So he traveled 250 miles to the capital city. There he met a lady who happened to be, by the grace of God, a missionary's wife, and she taught him how to read. Once he knew how to read, he read the track. After reading the track, he received Christ as Savior. This man then took a basket of tracts back to his home village where he struggled to preach the gospel to them. But because he was the chief's son, many came to listen. Well, in a relatively short number of years, 1,500 people of his people came to receive Jesus as their Savior and were baptized. All this came as a result of one tract that cost about a penny. Our tracks here at Bible Tracks Incorporated cost, the printing cost is, that is, about, well, about a nickel on average. The cost of everything has certainly gone up, but the need for sharing the gospel with the lost, that remains unchanged. There's more people on earth today who need to hear the gospel than ever before. Tracks are one of the most least expensive ways, but one of the most powerful ways to give out the gospel. So let me ask you, are you using gospel tracts to share the gospel with those around you? Let me come back to my story about the paper towel and the exchange. All of us understand how it takes things of value to be exchanged for other valuable things. And that's true whether we're exchanging currencies or just bartering for goods and services. Here in 2 Corinthians 5, the last verse of the chapter, we read that an exchange of an exchange that has been made that really it's even more ludicrous than our paper towel exchange. Let me read verse 21 again. It says this, For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. God made Jesus, who had no sin, to be sin for us. Jesus did not become a sinner, but by taking our sin upon himself, he stood in our place. When we help people 
to understand this exchange to be saved, there's four concepts that you and I have to really have clear in our minds. Four concepts. Number one is this. Jesus stood in our place legally. Before the judgment bar of heaven, Jesus bore our sins. He legally took on himself our sin. Though not a sinner, actually, he legally became sin for us. That's, that is concept number one. Concept number two is this. Jesus stood in our place substitutionally. We deserve to die for our own sins. We deserve the lake of fire. Yet this one of great value, that is Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, whose value is beyond earth's measuring, he took our place. He died for us, literally on our behalf. Concept number three, Jesus shed blood, satisfied the wrath of God judicially judicially. Since Jesus bore our sin and since Jesus died as our substitute, then he could cry from Calvary's cross, it is finished. We are guaranteed that the entire penalty and the condemnation held against us is gone. It's past. There is therefore now no condemnation. God the Father cannot and will not ever require any more punishment or payment from us or Jesus for our sins. Judicially, our court records in heaven are clean, are as clean as new driven snow. The fourth concept is this. Jesus took our sins, and in exchange, he gave us his righteousness. Now, the word here I want to add here is realistically. I'm going to say this again. Jesus took our sins, and in exchange, he gave us his righteousness realistically. Oh, my dear listener friend, in our actual status before a holy God, we stand clean, we stand righteous, we stand with no court record because an exchange was made. You and I were worse off in the sight of God than that filthy, dirty paper towel that was used to clean the fry pan. We are worse off in the eyes of God by our sin than that paper towel. And Jesus Christ is of more value than all the currency on earth of all the nations put together. But yet, an exchange is made. There's an old song, an old church song that I love to sing still. Part of it says this, Far dearer than all that the world can impart was the message that came to my heart, how that Jesus alone for my sin did atone, and Calvary covers it all. Christ took the guilt of our sin that we might have the gift of his salvation. Have you received the gift of salvation? Have you received the exchange of the righteousness of Christ and you giving him your sinfulness? Is that, is that right? Does that make sense? No, but the love of God moved God Almighty to send his only begotten son that you and I, anybody that will receive Christ by faith can be saved and their sin record eradicated, and they be declared realistically in the sight of God, righteous forever. If you've never received Christ as Savior, do that right now. Don't delay. Today needs to be your day of salvation. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Tract Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309 828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website, Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.